All right, our last plant for today is number four on your list, Acer rubrum. This is the red maple. So one thing about red maple, uh, it tends to, does tend to have some uh, pigment here. You can see there's lots of pigment in the petiole. It does, does tend to have decent uh, red fall color, but it actually gets the name red maple, the common name red maple, from the flowers that are born very early in the spring. It's going to be the earliest maple to flower that we have here in Corvallis. So Acer rubrum, uh, like our other maples, are oppositely arranged. It has what we think of as a traditional maple leaf shape, uh, but in this case, the way to tell red maple is it does tend to have three lobes, can have five, does tend to have three lobes and a rounded uh, base of the shape. Some people like to say that it has a, a dinosaur foot uh, shape to it. It does tend to be quite uh, white uh, below. Uh, so the problem with red maple is it hybridizes freely with its sympatric or overlapping distribution species, uh, Acer saccharinum, the silver maple, and that led to the uh, development of Acer freemanii, a new species. And there's lots of different cultivars of red maple, freeman maple, and silver maple. So, and there's a gradation between red all the way to silver and lots of difference in between. But for our purposes, we're going to concentrate on this, like I said, dinosaur foot shape, three lobe, somewhat squared off or rounded uh, base to the lobe. So that's Acer rubrum.